Did you know that we don't use or require all of the body parts that we have? It will take a long time for evolution to catch up to our needs as humans today. Until then, we will continue to have some body parts that simply aren't needed. From wisdom teeth to nipples, join us as we look at 10 body parts you don't need. Gallbladder The gallbladder is a small, pouch-like organ which stores bile, a fluid produced by the liver which helps break down fatty foods. Sounds useful, but in fact it's actually not necessary to have, since the liver produces enough bile that it can continuously drip down into the digestive system. It's a good thing you can live completely fine without it, as for many people it must be removed by surgery. Small stones can form inside the gallbladder, suitably called gallstones. These stones can block the flow of bile and cause a number of nasty side effects like a sharp pain in the stomach or lower back, feeling and being sick, or the yellowing of the skin and the whites of the eyes, also known as jaundice. Darwin's Point Also known as Darwin's tubercle, Darwin's Point is a small fold of skin which forms roughly on 10% of people's upper ears. It's named after Darwin since he was the first to describe this feature as an indication that we share common ancestry with primates who have pointy ears. Interesting as it may be, we certainly don't need this feature for our survival. Redundancy organs Okay, so this one's kind of an extra on this list. Having two of certain organs like kidneys, ovaries and testicles are certainly very useful indeed, but you could quite happily live your entire life with only one of them. Lose one and the other will simply compensate for that. And for those with failing kidneys, it's a literal lifesaver that a healthy one could be provided for them by someone else. The Philtrum The Philtrum is the small dent between your nose and upper lip. Whilst we are developing in the womb, it is where our face connects, which is why some babies are born with what's called a cleft palate. Basically, the face does not connect correctly. After birth though, there's no need to have this around, though I suppose it would look rather strange to not have it. Wisdom Teeth Once upon a time, our ancestors made great use of our wisdom teeth. It helped them to grind up all of the plant tissue that they consumed. However, since we have had farming and cooking for a while now, which has enabled us to consume soft foods, wisdom teeth now only exist to cause us discomfort and dental hygiene issues. Around 35% of us no longer develop our final set of molars. I was not lucky enough to be part of that 35%. Auricular Muscles Anterior, posterior and superior auricular muscles surround the outer ear and are used to swivel some animal's ears towards the direction of sound, but serve no purpose with humans, unless you find it funny when people can wiggle their ears. Coccyx Found at the very end of the vertebral column, the coccyx is comprised of 3 to 5 vertebrae below the sacrum that are either separate or fused together. The coccyx, or tailbone, is a vertebrae left over from when our distant ancestors were walking around with tails. Fall on your buttocks and you may injure this vulnerable little bone which can cause some terrible pains when sitting down. Erector pili Erector pili are tiny muscles that are attached to our hair follicles via smooth muscle fibers. When these muscles contract, they cause hair to stand on end, something we commonly refer to as goosebumps. Now, in fairness, this does happen for a reason. When air becomes trapped in erect hairs, it helps mammals to retain heat. Fortunately for us, we have developed much more efficient ways of keeping ourselves warm. Appendix While the appendix is found between the small intestine and large intestine, it plays no role in digestion. Experts suggest it may have served a purpose when the human diet was mostly made up of plants. Now it only becomes inflamed and infected before finally rupturing when someone develops appendicitis. Male Nipples Nipples certainly do serve a purpose, for women at least, but why, you might ask, do men have nipples? When an embryo is developing in the uterus, the Y chromosome, which is the one that creates changes that lead to developing the male reproductive organ, kick in later than the X chromosome. So one could say that technically we are all female to start out with. The nipples then are a reminder of those very early days. Now, this might be slightly awkward to talk about, but nipples in men aren't entirely useless. 
Certainly, we don't need them, but they can help with arousal. One study showed that nipple stimulation enhanced sexual arousal in over half of the men tested. And that's it for this video. If you're wondering why I made a video, it's simple. Because I felt like it. Don't get used to it though. But maybe see you next time.